This tutorial is for fourth grade, module six, lesson five. In this lesson, we'll see how equivalent fractions can be expressed in decimal form. The directions say find the equivalent fraction using multiplication or division, shade the area models to show the equivalency, and then record the fractions as decimals. So in my first problem, I have three tenths, and I need to show how the three tenths is equivalent to a certain amount of hundredths. I'm going to start by shading in my three tenths, and I'm going to shade in the equal portion on the hundredths model as well. So I started by shading in three of the pieces out of the ten that make up my one whole. That shows me three tenths. I shaded in the exact same amount on the next area model, and that will show you that three tenths is the same thing as 30 hundredths. Each little square in this model is one hundredth. I have three columns, each has 10, so that gives me my 30 hundredths. Now, in order to get from 3 tenths to 30 hundredths, what we did is we took each tenth and multiplied it by 10, when we took each tenth and broke it into 10 pieces. And we started off with 10 tenths that made the whole. If we multiply that by 10, that gives us the 100 pieces that make the whole. This shows me that 3 tenths is equivalent to 30 hundredths, and we can prove that mathematically by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 10. Now let's look at the decimal form. I can say that 3 tenths as a fraction is written as 0 0.3. I would read this decimal as 3 tenths. We can also write the decimal as 0 0.30. This decimal is 30 hundredths. And you can see by our fraction models that 3 tenths is equivalent to 30 hundredths. These decimals mean the exact same thing. Let's move across to our next problem. Now I'm going to start by shading in 50 hundredths. My first model has been broken into 100 pieces, and I'll shade in 50 of those pieces. Not only did I shade in the 50 hundredths, but I also shaded in the exact same amount on the next model. This makes it easy to see that 50 hundredths is the same thing as 5 tenths. Five pieces out of the ten that make the whole are shaded. Now how do we get from 50 one hundredths to 5 tenths? Well I would take my 50 pieces and divide them into groups of 10. That would give me five groups that you can see on the second model. I would also take my 100 pieces and divide those into groups of 10 and that would give me 10 tenths that make up the whole. So 50 hundredths is the same thing as 5 tenths. To write those as decimals, I can start by writing 50 hundredths. This decimal matches the first picture. I can also write it as 5 tenths. This decimal matches the second picture. 50 hundredths and 5 tenths are equivalent decimals. They refer to the exact same amount on our area model. The next problem says to complete the number sentences, shade the equivalent amount on the area model drawing horizontal lines to make hundredths. This number is 37 hundredths. Well, 37 hundredths is the same thing as 3 tenths and 7 hundredths because 3 tenths is also the same thing as 30 hundredths. That's how we get our 37 hundredths. Now let's shade in 3 tenths and 7 hundredths on this area model. I'm going to shade in the first 3 tenths to show 3 tenths, but in order to show 7 hundredths, I need to divide one of the tenths into 10 equal pieces. Each of those pieces will be a hundredth, and I'll shade in 7 of those. I'm going to divide this tenth into 10 pieces.
and I'll shade in my three tenths and my seven hundredths. Now we'll write the shaded portion as a fraction form. So altogether I have 37 hundredths. Again, the 3 tenths is the same thing as 30 hundredths. And then I have 7 more hundredths. Written as a decimal, this would be 0 decimal point 37. The 7 is in the hundredth spot, and we read it as 37 hundredths. The next section says to circle hundredths, to compose as many tenths as you can, complete the number sentences and represent each with a number bond. So now on my place value disk, each disk is one hundredth, because one hundredth is represented as 0 0.01, and that's what you see on each disk. It takes ten hundredths to equal one tenth. So I'm going to circle 10, so the 10 hundredths is equal to 1 tenth, and then I have two more hundredths. Altogether, I have 12 hundredths, and again, the 12 hundredths is equal to the 1 tenth, that's the group that I circled, and then two more hundredths. 12 hundredths in decimal form is 0.12. The 1 stands for 1 tenth, the 2 stands for the 2 extra hundredths. Here's another example. Again, we'll start by circling 10 hundredths to make tenths. So here's a group of 10, and here's a group of 10. Altogether, I have 27 hundredths. There's 10 here. 10 in the second group, and 7 more. So we have 27 hundredths. That's equal to 2 tenths, the two groups that I circled, and 7 more hundredths. Now let's make our number bond. 27 hundredths in decimal form would be 0 0.27. The 2 represents the 2 tenths, the two groups here. The 7 represents 7 hundredths, the extra seven hundredths off to the side. And let's look at one more section. The directions say to write the equivalent number in decimal fraction and unit form. My first fraction is three hundredths. In order to write three in my hundredths spot on a decimal, I have to make sure that it lands in the second spot. That's the hundredths spot. Now I can't leave this tenths spot blank. I have to put a zero there as a placeholder. So three hundredths as a decimal would be 0 0.03. In unit form, we would just say three hundredths. Unit form is telling me how many hundredths I have. In the next question, I have 15 hundredths as a fraction. In decimal form, that would be 0 0.15. The five lands in the hundredths spot. In 15 hundredths, I have 1 tenth and 5 hundredths. In my next problem, I have 72 hundredths written as a decimal. So I'll write that as a fraction, 72 hundredths. And in unit form, that just means I have 72 pieces, and they're all hundredths. And one more question. I have 80 hundredths as a decimal. We'll write that as 80 over 100. Now the unit form is asking me how many tenths I have. This is the tenths spot, so I can say I have 8 tenths, knowing that 80 hundredths is equal to 8 tenths. So in decimal form, 80 hundredths is also equal to 8 tenths. That's why in unit form, it is correct to say that we have 8 tenths. So you can see how equivalent fractions are very similar to equivalent decimals.